Hello everyone, this is Shiny from Gamblicious and today I'm going to share with you a blue smoky eye tutorial. So to start with, I'm going to prime my eyes with LA Girl Concealer or Primer in the shade White. I'm using the white shade because it will help me help my other colors to pop on my eye eyelids. Next, I'm going in with my Morphe 12P palette. I'm going to take the white shade and cover up the area which is already primed. Give me a good base for my, to start my eyeshadow. Next, I'm going to take up this eyeliner from uh, eye pencil. Sorry, from faces. This is a vibrant blue color, and I'm going to color all my all the areas on my lids, but not up to the crease. And I'm taking a small smudger brush and smudging out the edges as you can see. The first eyeshadow this is Luxury by Colourpop. It's a vibrant blue color, and I'm going to tap it on the areas which I've already used my eye pencil, like so. And I'm going to create a very small wing, like you can see now. I'm going to carry on with another eyeshadow next, which is also by Colourpop and it is in the shade Coconut. This is a teal blue color and it is very shimmery and so I'm putting it on the center of my lids so that it gives a very vibrant and shimmery look to my eyes. Eyeshadow from Colourpop just to smudge out the edges. Going in with my 12P palette again, taking the black from the palette and smudging out the edges again. So the whole trick here is to smudge, smudge, smudge. As you can see, I keep on smudging the edges. And when I'm, I feel like I'm done with smudging, I go on with the palette again, take the white shade and highlight my brow bone. Going in with my Lacme Absolute Eyeliner in black, I'm going to line my upper lids. I'm going to create a small wing and invert a triangle and filling up the gaps as usual. Moving on to my face, I'm going to prime my face with the L'Oreal Base Magic. It's a nice primer, good for oily skin and normal skin as well. My foundation today is L'Oreal Infallible. I'm going to apply it with, to my face with the Real Technique sponge. I feel it gives a very good and clean finish. Moving on, I'm going to use my concealer on the dark circles or the dark spots patches on my face, the under eyes, the area around my mouth. And next I'm going to fix that all, all of my face with the MAC Studio Fix powder. I'm going to contour my face with another MAC Studio Fix powder. This is a darker shade in the shade NC43, NW43 I'm sorry. And here you can see that I'm creating a straight sharp line from the top of my ears to the middle of my cheeks and blending well. And on my jawline as well to hide my double chin. For my nose contour, I'm going to use this scrub brush from Veg Cosmetics. VH Cosmetics, I'm sorry. And then curve out my nose. Going in back to the same color pop eyeshadow in Luckfully, it's a vibrant blue shade and smudging my lower lash line as you can see. 
and then the color cell cudgel in black is back to cover my waterline here. Yeah. For highlights on the inner corner, I'm using the Laura Geller Gilded, Gilded Honey. Sorry, I don't know why I said Gilded every time. And then for my blush, this is the Mil Milani Blush in Luminoso. The camera can hardly make out the color, but it's a very sweet color. Again, for my highlight, I'm going to get back to the same thing, which is the Laura Geller Highlight in Gilded Honey. And need to glow girl. Keep it's both chin nose everywhere. Then for my mascara, I'm using the lot Maybelline Last Sensation. For my lips, I'm using the Huda Beauty Lip Contour and Famous. I completely love this color. This is a true burgundy color. And I've popped on some eyelashes as you can make out maybe to complete the look. And that's it the completed look guys i hope you liked it please comment share and subscribe don't forget to support me thank you so much for watching